I was such an active child, um, played sports a lot. Uh, I was a cheerleader. Um, so I was very active and so very, very aware, always very aware. Um, I had challenges with my weight when I was younger, um, more so then than I did as an adult. Uh, I, I would say there's times when I was very comfortable and then there was times when, when I was just um, not so much. And um, it's, it's um, different things can happen in your life, um, different experiences that you have and um, your, how you feel about yourself, how, how you feel about how you look, it impacts everything you do. So there's a domino effect. For women, there's a lot of, there's a lot of moving parts. <laughs> Not just adolescence, but really all the way through um, young adulthood, and you know, if you become a mother. Um, so for me, it was just the, um, you know, you wake up in the morning, um, you look in the mirror, you get ready, and you go out about your day. And it's kind of like I said earlier, where um, the way you feel about yourself, your confidence, um, and your if, if you're feeling self-conscious -con about something, um, that does impact everything that you do. And whether you're feeling comfortable in your clothing or whether you feel com comfortable and confident being intimate, you know, being intimate with my husband, all of those things impact the quality of life long term. I, I had kind of toyed with the idea of breast augmentation. Um, gosh, it had been years, really, since my, our 18-year-old, our we thought, would be our last one, right? So, um, so I really kind of you know, was entertaining the idea for a long, long, long time. And um, it just, I was never really quite 100% there. Um, and then when I had the seven-year-old, when I had Jet, when I was 42, that was, um, it just, you know, it's, it's just, a, it was for me, it was just a matter of, okay, I, you know, I know that I really want to do this now. I wasn't exactly sure of the timing, but um, you know, that was really when I said, you know, I am just looking to get back what I, what I've lost and just restore things. So I didn't want to take it lightly, and there was time because I am so athletic. I like to run. Um, I like to do anything athletic. So um, you know, I was constantly thinking about the realities of that, and um, you know, with. Uh, with my husband as well and, and the impact on our relationship and it was really after we had the fourth the, our fourth child that uh, for me I thought okay I, 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 I do all of these things I, I take care of myself I, I um, you know I, I eat healthy uh, I'm doing all the right things but there are certain things that that can only be restored um, in a way that that I can't really I can't really do it on my own and so that was when uh, we went, I, I talked with my husband about it, he's, and he was complete, he's always been completely supportive. He said, I'm fine with, with, it, with whatever you want to do, yes or no. He said, you know, you do what you need to do to make yourself feel comfortable. From his perspective, he, he's very health conscious. So he was more, he's more, um, he just knows how I am. And so he said, I know that, that if you really want to do this, you really, you should do this. And um, his concerns were more just, wanting things to be, to look natural, um, and the safety, and um, making sure that I was happy with my decision, and that I was uh, choosing someone to do the procedure that um, was well qualified and, um, you know, professional. I was looking for, um, I mean, people purchase a result. So you're looking for proof really, when you're going to these websites. And especially with this type of a procedure, it's, um, I was looking for um, something that reminded me of me, something I could see myself in, right? Um, so I was looking for things that um, appealed to me and, and, what, and really what I was looking for. Uh, so it's almost like a reflection, really. Uh, but I was also looking for someone that I felt like I could have a connection with and a really a, a, just a very open and very um, just very transparent conversation and relationship with. I, I had I, I've you know interviewed with some doctors where I felt like they I felt absolutely confident that they knew what they were doing and that they were very good at it. I personally didn't have a connection with them, so that was important for me. 
And so that very much plays a part in, in the, the process. If you, if you feel very open and very comfortable and you know that you can, you can voice any concern, you can ask any question, you can ask a stupid question, you can um, be silly and be funny and it's okay, um, that's important. That was important for me. We weren't looking for the, for the, for the least expensive uh, at all. We were looking for someone who was going to do the best job possible. And um, you really don't want to just have the expense be the determining factor, right? You're not looking for, this is a very, you know, it's a very serious thing and you want, you want, you want the best quality that you can get. So, um, so that's an important thing to take into consideration. And, um, you know, there, there's a little bit of a range for sure. Uh, but you know it's it's um, you know it's your body, so you know that's an important part of it. I really loved the information that he had available um, online through his website interviews, um, where you can access a lot of his information. Where he's just talking to you and he's delivering information to you. He's very um, he's just very relatable. Makes you feel very comfortable. Um, he's fun. And um, that, I think, was a, 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 a definitely a factor for me because I think it's important that for people to love what they do and enjoy what they do and have fun with it, be good at it. Um, and for me, Bergdorf was the, one of the best representations I've ever come across in all of those years of research of someone who um, displays both of those elements. Um, someone who has great results, who's clearly very good at what they do, who's very confident, likes sharing it, wants to get it out there, uh, but clearly has a playful, fun, artful side to his personality that for me um, is perfect for this type of, uh, for what I'm looking for, for this type of a procedure. I, I wasn't initially aware of the TV stuff. Um, I was aware of the book because I saw the information on the website. Yes, that does matter. Um, it's, it's social proof to me. It's, um, it, there's a confidence in that and there is a, um, there is a connection. There is, that is, to me, that says someone who um, loves what they do, is confident in what they do and the product that they produce, and is, who wants to be out there and share it with the world and knows that they offer something to people that um, they believe can be helpful to them and impact them in a, in a positive and powerful way. So yes, those things definitely uh, matter. My husband did come to, with the con come with me to the consultation, and um, it's it's awkward. I mean, it's odd, it, of course. It's just, um, yeah. I mean, there's it, it just you just kind of get through it. And uh, but Dr. Bord Bergdorf is does he does such a great job of making you feel comfortable and making my husband part of the conversation when appropriate. And um, still being able to, to, to really um, address the, you know, the uh, comfort level of both you, know, um, you as the patient and then having your spouse in the room as well. And knowing his concerns and, and asking him questions. What questions do you have? What concerns do you have? Um, you feel free to ask us any time and, and addressing those things as well. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a delicate process, but he, he, you know, he has it down. He's, he's very good at understanding how you feel in, a, in an exam situation where, you know, you're kind of looking at what, what's going to take place and what needs to happen and what, what he's going to do. Um, and then also understanding, looking at it from the spouse's perspective. He reads the nuances very well, and he, he's patient. So he, there's, I never, at any moment, did you ever feel like he was in a rush, or um, that there wasn't a question that you, you couldn't ask, or um, if you asked a question, and he was very careful to notice whether or not um, he answered your question. And if he felt like he didn't answer it, if there was something unclear, he would ask, is, you know, are we clear or is there something more, you know, so I think all of those things are part of uh, what made, you know, what made us both feel very comfortable with him um, as the choice for the procedure. This was going to be, you know, a great improvement on the other side of, of it and I'm going into this for a benefit, something I want to do, 
Um, so I wasn't, I wasn't apprehensive or nervous about any of it. I was very confident with Dr. Bergdorf and everything that they had me do and all the, the, the pre-op appointments. They explained everything quite well and it was fairly simple for me um, being in the hospital. That's, that's kind of when um, I thought, okay, wow, we're, we're really going to do this. And, and um, hmm, oh, okay, when I wake up, things are going to be different. And okay, so uh, I think I was more excited than anything. Um, I just, yeah, I think because of the, the amount of time I took to actually get, get to the decision that I really wanted to do it and moving forward with it, um, I, I never had a moment where I thought, ah, let's just, let's wait a month or I'm not really sure about this. It was, it was all right, let's, you know, it was just a matter of lining things up and, 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 and walking through the process and, um, and getting it done. Yeah, there's times when I, um, you know, you, you have, you're definitely, there's diff, there discomfort. You've had surgery. So um, I managed it pretty well and managed, just took the medication as they, as they told me to. And um, I was, there was never a time when I was really, really uncomfortable. Um, I was, I feel, I feel fortunate about that. Um, the curiosity to look and see, you know, and take bandages off to see how things look. And um, then when you first see that and you go, and you know that there, it takes time for this to swelling to go away, and you're just thinking, okay, I, I, okay, I need my rational brain to, keep, to kick in right now because this is, you know, two days post-surgery. Um, so, um, and you're still kind of uncomfortable, and you're still trying to, you know, having to sleep, you know, you can't really sleep correct, you know, the way you would like to be comfortably, and so you're not sleeping real well. Um, but it was weird. It was, yeah, it was... I always thought I had fairly big hips, and when I realized it was just because I didn't have breasts that I really, my hips are actually fairly normal size. <laughs> I remember thinking, oh look, my hips aren't nearly as big as I thought they were. Uh, that was kind of a funny thing, but, um, but yeah, so, so just that, that getting used to it, and even, even with my husband, it's, you know, it was odd for him, because you know, it was just, a, it was an adjustment period. Um, and there's still times when he'll say to me, I still have a hard time seeing you with boobs. So it's not that I didn't have them before. They just, it just, it looks different. It, that's a very real part of your relationship. And there's an adjustment period there. And I, not, I'm not sure I expected that. Um, so I, I would tell married couples, you know, if I had to say something, I'd say, expect that there's going to be an adjustment period there. And it's very normal. Um, but just, you know, just know that that, that's, that can be part of the process. Maybe not for everyone, but it was for us. From the moment of the procedure to calling me over the weekend to make sure I, I was feeling great, um, every follow-up appointment I kept, and I'm not good at that typically, but part of the reason I made very sure, because I thought everything's going fine, like I, I, everything's looking great, everything's, but I knew that they had that protocol set in place for a very good reason, and having had the conversations I had had with Dr. Bergdorf, and him telling me things that I hadn't thought of and, and reasons why he wanted to do certain things. And I thought, okay, I know him because of my experience with him that I'm looking at it strictly from a, how does this look? Things look fine. I feel fine, right? That's not, he's looking at it from a completely different perspective. So from a follow-up perspective, they were, very, um, they were very specific about letting me know that they wanted me to keep all of my follow-up appointments and um, that they were very important. Um, they, of course, you know, when you walk into the office, they call you by name. They know you're coming. There's no, you know, I had never sat in their office more than a minute or two at the most. Um, Dr. Bergdorf, you know, examines everything, um, lets you know how things are going. Um, I was able to ask him any questions I had about, can I do this? Is it okay to do that? Is it safe to do this? So just from, from start to finish, um, including all the follow-up appointments, knowing that um, you know, I could ask those questions that I had and that if he felt something was, was different, he would let me know. But he, he, um, you know, he, I kept those appointments primarily because I knew that um, he was looking for very specific things and um, it was me keeping those appointments was had a direct impact on him getting the quality of work that he was looking for and uh, the result that I was looking for. So that was very much, I took that part of the relationship and the follow-up process very seriously because they were taking it so seriously. 
one thing he does that's different than other than other people I had talked to before was I could see the genuine excitement that he had as to how this was going to look when it was over. And I would say, don't change that. Like that coming through and that, um, that confidence and knowing this is gonna be great. The, uh, there's just, there was something about that that, that I noticed that was different um, from other people that I talked to. And um, you know, that's, that's ex you want the person who's going to be doing this procedure to be excited about not only the procedure, but knowing how this is gonna turn out and, and when it's over. And, and I think that um, I, I really appreciated that. I appreciated that coming through. I think he does what he does because he really, he thoroughly enjoys it. I think he loves um, um, the impact that it has for people. I think he knows how it impacts people's lives when they are feeling good about themselves and confident, whatever that means to them. Um, what's important is whatever is important to them. And, and that comes through in the way that he, um, you know, talks to you and the questions that he asks. And I think that he um, enjoys life. And I think that that's an important part of um, him enjoying his career and his profession. And um, I think he genuinely enjoys people. Um, and, um, you know, what he does really is an extension of kind of his personality. And I, that, to me, that, that was one of the things that made him stand out so much to me, was um, just that he, um, this is truly his passion, it's what he enjoys, and he wants to do it in a way that not only does he enjoy it, but that everyone that he comes in contact with enjoys it as well, from his patients to his staff, to the, to the staff at the, at the hospitals. Um, because when we were in, when we were in the hospital um, before the procedure, um, he carries that same part of his uh, personality with him in all different settings. So, um, you know, it's, it's just how he does what he does. And, and he does it because he really enjoys people and he enjoys what he does. And I think he truly appreciates um, what it gives people.